Hey, what is going on you guys? My name is Brandon for VPN FTW, and today we're going to be talking about how your browsing history is for sale and some of the changes that President Trump went ahead and made to Section 222. So if you guys are not aware, as of Monday, your internet service provider is now able to sell and use your browsing history for advertising purposes. So before that, they were not allowed to... Uh, harvest I mean they were allowed to harvest your data but they weren't allowed to use it for advertising purposes but <laughs> some new changes were made that just go ahead and allow them to so let's go ahead and talk about some of the facts and the fiction because I feel like there's a lot of fiction being spread about this but this is huge news so let's talk about some of the facts the first fact so if you guys are browsing the web completely naked with no encryption your internet service provider is going to know the domains that you visit no matter if it's Google YouTube or some obscure website they're going to know but a lot of websites have been deploying HTTPS which means that basically when you visit visit Google, they don't know what you're doing past that. If you visit the food, if you visit the foodnetwork.com and it has HTTPS, they're not going to be able to know the exact page you visited, the exact recipe that you're looking at. They're just going to know that you're looking at the Food Network website. So the first fact is that if you guys are not using any encryption, they're going to know ex every single domain that you visit and for the duration. Now let's move on to the second fact. Now if the website does not deploy HTTPS, then yes, your internet service provider is going to be able to know the exact website that you visit, what you're doing on that website, and the exact article that you are on. Now there are some huge huge privacy concerns that come with that, but let's talk about some of the fiction first, because I feel like there is a lot of, I guess you could say, fake news being spread about it. Now, no matter what search engine you guys use on the web, but this is one of the first just pieces of fiction. Now, no matter what search engine you're using on the web, Google, Bing, Yahoo, DuckDuckGo, IX, Quick Start Page, any reputable search engine uses HTTPS, so your internet search service provider is not going to know what you're searching on Google, what you're searching on these websites. This is this is some just BS that has been spread. They're not going to know your Google searches, guys. Google and the NSA will go ahead and store that for you. But your internet service provider is not going to know that. They're not going to be able to use it for advertising purposes. Now, the second piece of fiction that we keep seeing being spread everywhere is that you're going to be able to buy individual people's browsing history. Now, recently, there has been a huge surge in all these GoFundMes where it's, you know, give us $50,000 and we're going to buy Congress's browsing history. This is completely false, guys. You guys are not going to be able to buy individuals browsing history. For the most part, I don't even believe AT&T and Comcast, uh, these big service providers, are even going to sell it because AT&T owns AdWorks, Comcast owns these NBC sites, Xfinity, they own AOL, they're going to own Yahoo. Why are they going to go ahead and sell this data when they can just go ahead and use your browsing history to go ahead and improve their services? So the second piece of fiction is that you're going to be able to buy individuals browsing history. No, you're not going to, guys. It's not realistic. Now, the third piece of fiction, which may be common sense, they're not going to be able to read your emails, guys. That's that's the NSA's job. Your internet service provider is not going to know your emails unless you're using like an, like we said, like an AOL or like a like a Yahoo or an AT&T email. They're not going to know your emails. They're not going to be able to read your emails. Now, moving on to a fourth piece of fiction is they're not going to be able to know what you're watching on YouTube. Um, a lot of a lot of websites, like we said, are deploying HTTPS. Google is urging websites to go ahead and deploy encryption. As of 2016, Google actually gave a boost to websites that use HTTPS, and there has been a surge in encryption since. And I can only imagine that this bill is going to cause a huge surge in HTTPS across the web. Go ahead and encrypt the web, encrypt everything. But now that we've gone over some of the facts and the fiction, let's talk about some of the uh, huge privacy concerns and repercussions that this is going to have. Now, like we said, they're going to know, they're going to be, if you guys are just browsing the web naked without a VPN, they're going to be able to know the top level domain that you're visiting. So they're gonna be able to know if you guys are possibly having health problems, if you guys are possibly having financial problems. They're gonna to know if there are children in the house they're going to know if you're possibly expecting a kid if you're looking at um, you know birthing websites or websites that um, are, are children based they're going to know your shopping habits. They're going to know your sexuality based on, on the porn sites. They're going to be able to know absolutely everything about you if you guys are just browsing the web completely naked without a VPN. And there are going to be some huge privacy repercussions with this, guys. You need to know that your internet service provider has your first and last name and your address. So if you guys are possibly looking up something related to funerals and there's a death, you guys may actually be getting snail mail for coffins and funerals. That That's that's happened in the past, you guys. So this is only going to allow your internet service provider to know more about you, but there is actually a, a super simple way to deflect this. You guys can actually use something called a VPN. So no matter what you're doing on the web, no matter if you visit Google, YouTube, Yahoo, no, no matter what website you visit, your internet service provider will not be able to see. They'll just be getting encrypted data back. So you guys can use a VPN. Now there are tons of services out there now. A couple of providers that I would recommend are private internet access, NordVPN, and AirVPN. I'll go ahead and have links down in the description below. Now if you guys don't want to pay for your privacy or you're possibly on mobile, you guys can go ahead and install these browsers. 
browser extensions. You guys can install HTTPS everywhere, which will go ahead and default to HTTPS wherever it's allowed, even if the website doesn't do it automatically. This website will automatically redirect you there. This one is built by the EFF, a completely nonprofit foundation. And the second browser plugin that we recommend you install is uBlock Origin. This is again made by a single nonprofit developer, and it will go ahead and block all those nasty trackers and ads. You guys can actually go ahead and block AT&T's um, ad blocks. So that will go ahead and block, you know, nasty trackers and ads. And you guys can go ahead and put those to rest. But I just want to let you guys know that there is a thing called the browser fingerprinting. And there's actually a new level of it called hardware level fingerprinting. And this will actually go ahead and let advertisers, again, it's very intrusive, guys. It doesn't work with cookies. It actually just works with, it actually sees the hardware in your computer. And it basically fingerprints it. So basically, you know how your actual fingerprint is a unique identifier. Your browser hardware is a unique identifier. And advertisers have been using something called browser fingerprinting. And now they're using something called the hardware fingerprinting now. And no matter if you're in Chrome or Firefox or using separate browsers, no matter what you're logged into, they're going to know who you are across those platforms because they have a unique fingerprint of your browser and your hardware. So your anonymity is very, very hard to get online. And that's just one thing that I wanted to leave you with. You know, as your browsing history is being sold, just because you're using a VPN doesn't make you immune. They can just fingerprint your hardware and, you know, we're back to square one. So there is a lot that goes on with anonymity. But that is the facts and the fiction behind your browsing history being sold. So we'll have links in the description below. Be sure to encrypt your internet. But those are the changes that have been made to section 222. Too. Be sure to share this video with your friends. Let everybody know that their browsing history is at stake. Their privacy is for sale. And how much is it worth for you guys? So hope you guys are all out there staying secure.